Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. Welcome to your daily update on Turbo. And uh, first of all, if you look at the title, I'll probably call this video or, or, or name this video something like Turbo Crash Incoming or something. It's partially clickbait, all right? Don't worry, I still think Turbo is bullish. And if you watched my video yesterday and you remembered that, you also knew that I, that I thought that, all right? Because what we said yesterday in the video, um, when the price was right here, it was the first time I think we touched 0 0.97 cents here, around one cent, which is, it was, and still is the main resistance level. Um, but what I said, or this was what I drew up, all right? Because the thing is, and I do think, by the way, the title is not completely uh, clickbait. It's partially, all right? I'll, I'll just be honest about that. Uh, but there are situations here in which Turbo can actually fall down quite a lot. Um, and yesterday, what we talked about is, is this, all right? So we reached that level around one cent. One cent is a major psychological resistance level. So some resistance was to be expected from there. And then what we saw over the course of um, over the course of the day for Turbo is that we actually also uh, failed to gain momentum after hitting that level. All right, so that's what we talked about in the video. What you need to actually push through a strong resistance level. So, for example, what we did right here uh, at half a cent, which for now I still think this is similar to this, right? Uh, so, strong resistance level, pull back, and then we can actually continue, continue to be bullish. But what you need is momentum. And what we lost yesterday after hitting that level uh, numerous times is we lost momentum. So that's the situation right now. We hit a significant resistance level and we're losing momentum. Now, what I said yesterday is, is this, all right? So I expect resistance, the main support level, and the first support level is right here around 0 0.75 cents. Now, to be fair, um, I would have wanted a better reaction from this level right here, all right? I would have wanted to see some more support from here. It's not, it's, it's not the worst right now, but what you see right now is that we have lost the 28 and the 50 EMA. Uh, and that's the first time, so, so that's the, the blue and the red line. And that's the first time we've done that since last week, Tuesday. So that's a bit, that, that worries me, all right? Because those are technical bearish confirmations. And now the main level that has to hold, which I do think we'll find support there again. Um, but that's the level hit right here around 0 0.67 uh, 67 cents. So there we have the 3A2 FIP, the 100 EMA. Uh, purely technically, that is the stronger level, all right? So that's the good news. The bad news is, is that if we drop down below that, it's going to be very, very hard to still break above one cent. Um, so that's, I mean, that's pretty bad news, I would say, all right? Because right now, I still think that my scenario is more likely. I think technically, Turbo is still bullish. I think there's also still more, more room to grow for meme coins in general. Uh, volume is still very high, so we still have that fundamental event of a potential Binance listing in the future, um, or at least a high likelihood of which. So I still think that there's room for growth, and, and fundamentally this is possible. Uh, but after hitting this level right here between 0 0.65 and 0 0.67 cents, I do need to see a bullish reaction. I do need to see a breakout above uh, 0 0.75 or 0 0.78 cents. If we don't get a bullish breakout from that level and a continuation up to at least like 0 0.9 cents right here, um, then that's then the situation do does change a little bit, right? Because we have already fallen down quite a bit. I don't think that's the end of the world. Uh, but if we drop down 30%, which would be a, a drop into 0 0.67 cents, and we don't get a strong reaction from there, even though technically it's a very strong support level and historically we have reacted uh, strongly to those technical levels, that's a bad sign. All right, so for now, short term, I expect this and I will keep you updated on that, but keep your eyes on that open interest, all right? The open interest needs to increase after hitting that support level. Otherwise, no new positions are being opened, no new momentum comes in and that's bad. Um, so yeah, if that fails to hold, then we can actually crash, all right? Then we can crash down all the way to half a cent again, which would be a crash of 50%, which I would say it's a crash. So for now, I'm still bullish, but I do need to see some confirmation today or tomorrow maybe, uh, but probably today. Those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.